Hello friends, in this video, I'm going to talk about manage chart of account value set values. So you have seen how we have gone about creating the value set. Now it's time to populate those value set with the value set values. Let's go into Oracle Fusion Applications Cloud and see how it goes. So here is uh, the setup and maintenance and I'm going to go into value set values okay value set so let's try what comes up with this one so manage chart of account value set values so click on that one and then once again you click on this uh, hyperlink okay and now i'm gonna hit the search button so let's say Starting with OR. Okay, and we'll start with the company. Okay, I'm going to click on manage values. And let's search. So there are no values. I'm going to click on plus button to create a new one. Okay, and I'm going to give uh, the value as 10. Description, let's say orange. Card, New Zealand. Enable start date. If you want to give some start date and end date. And uh, then sort, order, summary, allow posting, allow budgeting, yes. Okay. So I'm going to click on save and close. So I will have just one company at the moment, but uh, in a realistic scenario, you may have more than one companies uh, and um, that you may want to set up as a part of this value set values. So I'm going to skip now since I have just one company. Likewise, I'm going to go and set up all my departments. So I'm going to go to, go to departments and hit manage values and then hit the search button again. So no values. So click on plus icon to create a value. And here I'm going to give a value of, let's say. So I'm going to start with a value, let's say one zero one zero. Okay, and uh, let's say this one is which department is human resources and then click next and 1020 marketing then 1030 sales and one zero three four zero operations one zero five zero finance and then hit the next button. One zero six zero say training and then you have one zero seven zero say admin and so on. Okay, so these are some examples I'm giving. So once you're done with entering your value set values, hit the save and close button. Likewise, you have got to enter for account, future, and intercompany. So let's say intercompany. Okay, it's a two. Okay, so I'm going to click cancel and hit a value for intercompany now. 
So I'm going to say double zero and say default. And then hit save and close. Similarly, for future, I'm going to go to manage values. Now, hold on, before going to manage values, let's see what's the value says size, it's four. Okay, so we'll go back here again and hit values and click on the plus icon to create a new value. And I'm gonna enter four zeros like this and say default. So this is a future value set segment we have created so that in future if at all there is any need that comes then we can potentially use that now of course to account so the maximum length is seven so i'm going to go into value set values go to manage values and here i will start entering the values okay so let's say one double zero one zero one okay and enter the account so under the description of this account so here i'm going to give uh, a description as retail sales and then make sure you enter these ones account type what is an account type it is So it's a revenue account and likewise i'm going to enter all my accounts over here so on the same lines we will add some more accounts so i've got an excel file wherein i have a list of accounts out there so i'm going to add a couple of more accounts however the best way or ideal way of adding a large number of accounts is via the adfdi okay so which is the excel based uh, desktop integrator so I'm going to go to the Excel file now. And as you could see, I've got multiple accounts over here. So I'm going to take another one from here. So which is revenue account. And as you could see, the financial category is sales revenue. So I'm going to go back and create this. As you could see, this is a summary account. Uh, budgeting posting not allowed, but account type is a revenue account. No third party control, no reconciliation. Okay. So I'm back here. I'm going to hit the add button. And I'm going to add a value here. Revenue. Okay. And uh, no summary. This is all fine. And this is a revenue account. Okay. And this is a sales revenue. All right. Likewise, I'm going to go ahead and add a couple of more accounts. So the next one in this list is uh, the transport account, which is also a, a revenue account. So add it over here. Okay, and uh, this is a sales revenue. So we'll add the account type as a revenue account. Then another one. We'll go back to Excel and capture the account. So let's say this account and we'll add this as okay. This all is fine. So we'll make a revenue account. This is its sales revenue. Likewise, I'm gonna add one more. We'll go back to the Excel file. Okay, I'm going to jump from here. This one, I'm going to get the description. Okay. Okay, so like that, you know, you can keep adding. I'm going to hit the save button. And as you could see, all these accounts got added. So likewise, I will continue. And uh, I will add a couple of more accounts, but the best way of doing that is via ADFDI. So I'm going to show in a separate video how to go about uploading um, this file via ADFDI.